Welcome to the final segment of this Lights Everywhere podcast where we have been um, listening to Miriam Garber, CEO of Miriam Garber LLC, share her story um, of how God took her through a journey of discovery of purpose and how God brought definition and just situated her in her purpose. And, you know, she's having a fun time, you know, living out her purpose and just, you know, in her everyday life. It's, you know, it's nothing um, out of the ordinary, but it's, you know, it's it's a, a journey of just listening to God, um, being faithful to the dreams that he has given, no matter how crazy they may sound, and also building um, structures around you to keep you accountable. Yes. And most importantly, um, having values that um, you can really hold on to, because um, those values are the are you know the tenets that make sure that you you outlast the challenges that um, you know life brings your way. So, Miriam, um, I'd like you to share more about those values that um, you have um, come to realize and really hold your life um, by. Yeah, so I, I call my values my 10 Fs. I like that. Ten Fs. <laughs> Thank you. And in order, they are faith, mm. my family, my friends, fashion, fin- my finances, fitness, fun, philanthropy, which is really a P, but I still use yeah. an F. <laughs> the, the future generation, and then functions, so sort of responsibilities that I have. That's really loaded. Can you break it down? <laughs> break it down. Yes. I tend to spend um, most time probably uh, with the first five. So the faith okay. is obviously the first thing. And under faith, I put both my relationship with God as well as my my connection to the local church in that category. Mm. So my relationship with God is sort of personal and it's sort of me making sure that I'm constantly spending time with him to be able to hear from him. Yes. But the connection to the local church as well, such, such as City Light yeah. here is critical because for me, that was really where accountability first came um, mm. into my life in terms of mm. just um, not just being a Christian, but also serving mm. in God's in God's house. And that's right. also when I started to come under instruction as well. So I recognized mm. that a lot of times God was actually speaking to me through you mm. or through you or through Pastor Land. And even when I went through a very difficult time, when I mm. lost my job, my mm. first job, and I thought, this was this was it. I thought, you know, yeah. I have to move back to Nigeria and this is never going to work. Mm-hmm. God was able to use that connection to the local church to actually still transform my life. So definitely mm-hmm. I, I put faith above all else and, um, mm-hmm. you know, that presence in the church because you can, you know, you can be accountable and you can be guided. Right, you've got to be well. rooted. You have to be rooted. rooted, yes. Yeah. And even when you're in doubt or when you go through moments when you're unsure, it's great to mm-hmm. have people that you can go to that right. you know that truly have your best interest at heart that will pray with you mm. and support you whether you know even if it doesn't look like things are going to be okay you have a foundation or even when God is speaking to you of the next thing what is right. to come you can have people who can confirm that and um, and pray with you as well in that right. direction so it works both ways when you're afraid and when you're feeling brave right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 so faith so and faith then. and then family so family. my existing family so making sure yes. that I'm constantly you know, on good terms. My parents and I have su- have since reconciled with you know coming out of the struggles yes. of not me not being a doctor anymore, and they actually yeah. um, they like what I'm doing now. They they support That's me great. and they encourage me. So my existing family and my future family, which I'm constantly praying on, mm. my friends. So just trying to be a great friend and to be there for my friends. I think that's what friends. Yes. Most of my friends. Yeah, we need we yeah, need good need, friends. We need great friends. And, yes, exactly. Yeah. And constantly nurturing those relationships. Yeah. Then fashion, which is my passion, yeah. uh, is you know just constantly making sure that I'm staying in that creative space and continuing to build Miriam Garba LLC. Mm-hmm. Finances is the next F, which is huge for me because I really believe that God has called me into kingdom wealth. Mm-hmm. Um, and I believe that a part of that will have to come through in the way that I manage my finances. Yeah. So you're not able to lead other people into wealth if you don't take yourself into that. Yeah. So I take finances and financial planning very, very seriously and wealth mm-hmm. creation in particular. Mm. Uh, very seriously so um, I learned from my father to always live below your means mm. and if I what I saw from him as well was whenever I whenever you see him spending a dollar he probably has put away about a thousand mm. so that was one yeah. of that was a major principle that I took away just how to create wealth 
and, mm. to, st and to stay humble at the same time. Mm. And financial, financial security is also important to me and prosperity because it is out of the abundance that we have that we're able to, to give. give to others. It's, yeah, exactly, yeah. to give to others. Mm -hmm. It's tough to give if you don't have yeah. enough or if you don't have your finances in, in order. order. Mm -hmm. So that's the financial part. Fitness um, is yeah, I it, see it's important. You look, fit. you look great. <laughs> Thank you. So you know, just trying to eat healthy and yeah. exercise and maybe run some long distance races yes, here and there. You've done you've done a couple of those. Yes, through the help of my friend, um, awesome. she was able to influence me to yeah. start some long distance running. Yeah. Uh, fun is are just the things that I do for self development. So that's whether reading or travel or um, attending conferences. But I try to keep those as a constant part of my life. Philanthropy are really the things I do for others for which I am not necessarily expecting anything in return. Mm. And what's really occupying that mostly right now is the Billionaires Club, trying to mm. nurture entrepreneurship and wealth creation in other people. Oh, what's the Billionaires Club? The Billionaires Club is a network of, mil of millionaires and billionaires who are creating wealth for God's kingdom. Wow, so that's, that's a powerful <laughs> dream. Mm -hmm. So did we run through your tenets? Uh, there are just uh, two left, I think. Okay. Well, there's the future generation, which uh -huh. is really um, the things that I'm trying to do to invest in the next generation, which could be That's giving powerful. back to my universities or supporting programs that nurture children mm -hmm. and functions are such like my responsibilities. So, um, for example, I'm on the worship team at City yeah. Light, so yeah. I consider that a, a, a responsibility. Right. And then I'm, I also still work in corporate America, so that's another thing that I put in functions. It's just things that you're yeah. responsible for and you can't neglect. Um, it just has to be there. I think those priority. are powerful. <laughs> so I want you to look right at the audience and just speak to that ordinary person, you know, um, that is listening right now who might be at a place where maybe they feel discouraged or there's still yet to be some definition to their lives and they really don't know um, how to go about it. Can you just share like you know some basic things that they need to start to do certainly i would say everything begins with god everything begins with a relationship with god and really with jesus because mm -hmm. he's constantly speaking he's yes. constantly speaking to you he's constantly revealing to you what is to come mm -hmm. or addressing where you are at that moment yes. and until that relationship is in tune and just ongoing it's it's really difficult to find yourself anywhere else so I would say yeah. first establishing yourself in God and in his word and having that personal relationship with him is just mm -hmm. critical to living a life of purpose. Yeah. And then secondly, coming under the covering of a local church. Even after I discovered my purpose, I still had to come under the City Light Church. And not just a church where you go and nobody knows what you do or where you go, but a church where you can actually be held accountable. That's yeah. so critical. And where you have, um, where you have a message as well that is that is in tune with the direction that you believe God is leading you mm -hmm. into. The City Light Church was the first church where I ever heard a message on purpose. Mm -hmm. And that resonated so much with me because I wasn't really a sinner. I wasn't really afraid of going to hell at that point. But the desire I really had in my heart was to live in purpose. So once I heard that message, I knew I was where I was supposed to be. So I'd say, you know, after establishing your relationship with Christ, the second thing you have to do is come under covering on a church or in a in a in a local church and the yeah. third thing would just be to start where you are to start with the resources that you have available to you um, I started Miriam Garba LLC out of college it wasn't called Miriam Garba LLC at the time it was called nothing really it was just Miriam sewing <laughs> it was just <laughs> Miriam sewing clothes but I started with the fabrics that I had and um, God started me from that point on and started to allow resources to flow my way and yeah, just, you know, be faithful. It's a journey. It's a process. I still recognize even until today on a daily basis that I'm still not where God has, you know, ultimately desired for me to be, but it's still that work in progress because as you move through seasons, the message changes as well. So you have to always recognize what season you're in, what's required for that season. Once you're faithful in that, God will promote you to the next and you'll just continue to find that your circle of influence will expand and God will begin to open doors that will lead you to the next to the next level. That's powerful, Miriam. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for giving us a glimpse into your life and just sharing your heart um, with us and giving us, you know, 
so many examples of how God has led you and how he has taught you and brought you to where you are right now and I just keep praying that God's light will continue to shine ever so brightly through you mm -hmm. and that he'll continue to increase you and expand mm -hmm. you um, he'll be continue to bring to pass those great dreams that he has given you I know the future is bright um, it's glorious because that's the kind of future that God has called us to to live in so just keep shining your light mm -hmm. and to all our viewers out there mm -hmm. um, we just want to remind you that you are lights um, and God has given you a light that will shine so brightly so like Miriam has encouraged just start where you are um, start where you are get yourself plugged in surround yourself with people who believe in you um, who continue to cheer you and um, just solidify your relationship with God he'll take you from where you are to where you need to be all right so stay blessed until another episode of lights everywhere um, God bless you <laughs>